Gotta grab one of those. Gotta have a mood enhancing device. Come on, garages. What the hell? Getting big fat nothing out of garages. <laughs> a large plastic bottle of energy cola. Eight portions of energy cola. Sure, we got space. We'll grab it for the moment. We're running out of houses, though. Um, if I go catty corner up that way, that's close to the wasp house. No electricity whatsoever. This is the back shed. This is the actual main house. I uh, do I care about a trade pan? I think I have regular antibiotics. I've forgotten, but I guess we'll pick it up. Oh my god, we got a screwdriver finally. <laughs> well, there's one of the tools I needed. Probably, eh, I don't know if it's the most important. Pretty important. Now I need the wrench and the hacksaw. It's got to be persistent. Alright, so we're done here. That would be a shady zombie right on top of me. Pickled veggies are pretty good. I don't need ammonia right now. Right, we'll go out that way and back in this way. A lot of, a lot of activity in there. Um, and now they know I'm here. Still seeing activity in there. Alright, he definitely spotted me. What am I in here? What is this? A small office? Uh, not likely to be what I'm looking for in a small office. Uh oh. Whoops. Multiple zombies south of me. How did I make it to the small office? Alright, so that had nothing useful. Oh, this is bad. Feral runner and a feral hunter, and I got stuff in every direction. I could get stuck in a wall or stuck in a like that fat zombie sitting right in here, and I get this thing on me at the same time. Oh boy. Alright, good old surprise feral hunter. That's what I was uh, dreading. And I'm not full stamina. And I don't have... Eh, if I can get to there, I might be able to get the door closed and get out the other side. I think that's my best bet. I don't want to go this way, because I had that fat zombie. I might get stuck in a doorway and get trapped. So, we're going to go to run mode. I should have the stamina to get up here. I just need to time it so that I get through the door. Then back to walk mode. Perfect. And I need to get out again before he figures out where I'm at. Ooh, two shock zombies to the south. Now they're starting to be a little bit mean about it. Hmm. Nothing useful there. 
So we got nicked slightly. The arm damage, the left arm was what we took from the original zombie. The uh, four points on the right arm is not a big deal. We are at 16 out of 20 encumbrance. We got our screwdriver, which is great. It's one of the big things I was looking for. Ah, oh, crap. I'm still carrying the quiver. I forgot to dump that. It, keep, it auto picks it up because I have arrows on auto pickup, so I keep forgetting it. Now I'm lugging it around <laughs> all 10 pounds and however much volume of it. Uh, apparently, I don't have other antibiotics, so good thing I picked up the atrepan. Alright, not really much else. So let's work our way straight across the road here. Let's see if we get into one of these other houses. More zombies. Uh, soldier zombie. This place is crowded. Alright. He's got my scent. Oh, they have my scent. Oh, that's going to be another one of those. Oh, shock Tommy to the north as well. Hmm. <laughs> nope, Ken Ken, that is not a lot of hit points. That is what happens when you create a pacifist fragile. <laughs> so we are a fragile pacifist devotee of Tai Chi. <laughs> You too can have 19 hit points max when you have strength 6 and the fragile trait. <laughs> this is getting a little too uh, chancy. I don't think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try to get out of here. I got shock zombies in every direction. I got soldiers and regular zombies following me. If anything manages to grab me and I get hit by the... Sh ah, like that guy. I'm moving towards stuff that I... Uh, aggroed earlier. Yep, there's another one. And I'm grabbed and broke it. I'm trying to keep my stamina maxed. Alright, I think we should be okay now. Let's... I need to stay near buildings. So, we're gonna go straight across the street. Buildings give me options. Windows are life. <laughs> eh, I'm not sure why you heard me or smelled me. Ah, crap. Now I'm going backwards again. Alright, get a door between me and them. Where are we at? Straight north is going to be the burned out ruins of the wasp house. i got to be careful about the wasps. Still a bunch of them in the area. Barrel runner, and I'm running. Not good. Ah, crap. Um, not good, not good. <clears throat> not good. This guy can kill me pretty quick. need a building I can get a door between me and him. He's going to catch me again here momentarily. Oh, unless something distracted him. Not going in that building. Something in, something wrecked that place. Uh, that's the roach. I don't want to go there. Might be able to lose him in the garage if he's still behind me. Or we'll have him run right over some wreckage. That'll work. All right, we'll thread through wreckage, make him step in it. There, that should help. All right, we're okay. That one made me worried, though. Torso 11 already. One tiny hit from a feral. From a runner. All right, back to safe mode. Ah, wasp! <laughs> I think the wasp killed him, and now the wasp is chasing me down. <laughs> oh, uh... They're all mad at me because I burned their home down. Um, well, we definitely got to go to run mode. Let's see. I think I'm going to go for that house and go out the far side. 
So safe mode off. I'm in run mode. Got the stamina. I should be able to make it to this house without too much problem. And then we'll go out this way. Whoops. Like so. Alright. Back to walk mode. Like I say, stay near buildings. Buildings and vehicles. Alright, we should be getting up to some pretty cleared area. Maybe I'll grab that bottle jack on my way by. Turn safe mode back on. Where are you at, bottle jack? How much you weigh? Yeah, we can grab the bottle jack. And some rope. Still not sure what's generating these rope piles. No idea why they're appearing on the ground like that. I'm seeing them all over the cities nowadays. Ah, we are home. Well, that one got a little bit scary. Brought back some more good resources. Still didn't get my spring, though. Food's starting to look a little bit better. I'm going to have to set that quiver somewhere where I won't accidentally keep picking it up. Hopefully I won't accidentally step into it. Uh, well, we're going to have to heal up and all that good stuff. 4.30 a.m. I've forgotten what my day-night cycle timing is on. I'm not sure how tired I'm going to be here pretty soon. Most of our bonuses are wearing, wearing off. Focus is going to start dropping. I've got one book I can read. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm out of water again. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix that when we wake up. Only good news about having so low a hit point total is you always heal to max. <laughs> Usually about 15 minutes after I've fallen asleep, I'm back at max hit points. So, I guess that's a good thing. No, no slow healing in addition to the fragile. <laughs> Sorry. It wouldn't let me take any more negatives. You guys always tell me that stuff, but it'll only let me take 12 points. And uh, that's 8, and pacifist is 4. That equals 12. So, can't load myself up with any other negative traits, unfortunately. I've already got them maxed out with those two. Alright, let's have some... Don't want any of that. Sports drink. Sports drink. Oh yeah, I forgot I got my big bag of energy soda. <laughs> we'll just stick with the sports drinks for now. And... Uh, more veggie sandwiches. Good enough. 
All right, focus is okay. 7.30 p.m. Sun's about to go down, so we can do another night raid. My favorite. Um, we got down pretty far there pretty quickly, but um, just certain zombies are still so, so dangerous. Especially now that I've had the ranged forcibly removed from my repertoire. <sighs> That's going to be rough. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to check the... Uh, latest builds and the patch notes and see if they fix this range problem. I'd read some people reporting it, but I thought my build was a little earlier than when it started cropping up. Apparently not, so we'll see what I can do um, in between episodes to uh, hopefully get updated and get that fixed, because this guy needs the ranged combat. <laughs> he desperately needs it. Um, I'm not sure I'd be able to continue with this guy without having access to ranged combat, so... I can only sneak around for so long. Um, we're getting closer to the things I needed, though. We did get the screwdriver. I can't remember what that was roadblocking me from. Some of the assembly and disassembly stuff. Now I've got the hammer and screwdriver, so I can do that. We've got metal sawing one off of our Swiss Army, but that's going to need two for most vehicle-related stuff. Um, I still don't have bolt turning, so I don't have pliers or a wrench. So pliers and a hacksaw or a, and or toolbox is still really high on my list. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't been able to see too much in the way of um, the map to get the vehicle stuff. I really want my spring. I think what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to try to get the spring, and then I'm going to try to get a working vehicle so I can kind of drive around the area and map in some more of this and see what my options are. As soon as I get mobile, uh, it opens up my possibilities quite a bit. So far, we just haven't had too much in the way of vehicles that I can really take advantage of, so... Spring and vehicle. And the two tools that I need. That's that's my focus right now. I'll take any food items, I'll take any uh, books that we encounter, but that's really the things that are, are kind of roadblocking me for progress right now. Alright, before we head back out, I'm going to take another quick break. We're about four and a half hours in coming up on, so let me do that and uh, be gone about five minutes or so, and we'll head back out for some more avoiding monster action. So, hope to see you when I get back.
Okay. Back from some more abuse from the Cataclysm. Um, take a look at chat here. Got them out of YouTube. Yeah, the breaks, if they land anywhere near my normal episode length start or stop points, I always chip clip them out. But uh, if they're smack dab in the middle, I don't usually bother. <laughs> the reasoning mainly is just if I was doing four or five episodes a week, no problem. I'd produce the hell out of them and they'd be all spick and span and clean and wonderful. But I'm doing 40 to 50 episodes a week. Trying to uh, do the editing for that, cutting and merging and all that good stuff. I just don't have the time. I can either play the game or I can spend time in editing. I can't do both, and I have to find some kind of balance point. So if it's convenient to my normal stop-start time for the episode, yep, I definitely stop and uh, skip over the break times. But occasionally they land right in the middle, and they just get left in. Especially for this live stream stuff. Uh, it's just got too much of it that I've got to kick out. I'm trying to spend... An extra 10 minutes cutting and merging just isn't worth the time effort. I'll do what I can, though. All right, so where are we at? Um, I think we're all set, so we got all of our gear ready to go. Really not happy with the combat situation, though. I just don't know what I'm going to do without having the ranged combat. That was going to be such a linchpin. I spent a lot of time and effort getting our archery skill up and getting the bow made and all that kind of stuff. I really, really need that. <clears throat> I can't afford to fight hand-to-hand -hand against anything, really. 7.30 p.m. Is it dark yet? I think it might still be light. Yep, still light. And a zombie brute. That does not see me yet. Let's keep it that way. Back in we go. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I still don't have enough batteries that I'm comfortable grinding my uh, mechanic skill with the soldering iron. So, I think it might be time just to pass time again till dark. <clears throat> Alright, safe mode on. Um, how am I going to do this? We got a library. I think I'm going to aim for the library. We'll try the library and maybe we'll hit these series of residences right here. Another hardware store. I always think I'm going to get tools in a hardware store and I very rarely do. I don't know what it is about those guys. But yeah, so I'm going to kind of aim at a, a diagonal straight down this way instead of getting anywhere near the wasp house and the other stuff. So, yeah, that's the plan. No minefields that I'm aware of anywhere in that area. So we'll just kind of fast move our way down there. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Alright, I suspect I've actually been in this house right here. Maybe not, but I think I might have been. Let's shock zombie. Ambulance. I don't think I've seen this ambulance before. Well, maybe I have. Doors are open. Yeah, I rolled through here. Or not. Holy crap. <laughs> Antibiotics and a stethoscope. I definitely did not come by this ambulance before. Hallelujah. That's two awesome items. Don't need the inhaler. Is there any chance that I stepped to this space when I first came and checked just these two baskets? I'm wondering if that might be what I did, because I'm pretty sure I did come through this ambulance in a hurry. Huh. Hey there, shady zombie. Um. <laughs> yeah, my font's been changed for a little while, Twisted. I changed it and I put up a big video on my YouTube page that says, Awesome Fonts! Here's how! Lots and lots of people using the font now. It's really, really clean and clear. I love it. Alright, um... So... I still want to head south. Let's run for just a second. Get a step or two on this shady zombie. 
can't believe we got a stethoscope and full antibiotics out of that ambulance that I am sure I ran through earlier. All right, from the west and then from the northwest, huge explosion. Um, I have not located where that minefield is. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> it might be sitting right here. Who knows? Let's try to get into this house right here, though. That I think I've been in. All right, bathroom. Don't need. Don't need. I uh, can't remember what's what's my computer skill zero. No, computer roll's not going to help me. Uh, apparently another shady zombie was right on top of me there. And another tailor skit. So many tailor skits! Oh, another ambulance. I should have shut that door behind me. Yeah, let's put on the first aid kits. I think I got that closed just in time. Gas battery. It's got a security system. I do have a screwdriver now, but it's going to take me too long to try to jimmy that. And the door's open on the far side. Yeah, I'm not going to try to drive this. All right, we'll say that one's done. Uh, I didn't hit the kitchen, but I don't think I'm going to try. I think I've been here as well. We just need to go straight across. Alright, next up, library. Hello, iBot. I no longer need an iBot. Stay away from me. Don't take my picture. No battery. No controls. Somebody's been messing in the library. Hopefully they're gone. Come on, library books. Just so much. Nothing in the bookstores and the libraries. Uh, computer Science 101. That'll get us to Computer 3. So, that's something at least. And nothing else. That's it. Alright, one book. I never find anything useful in these, in regards to books at least. Library's done. Pizza parlor. Um, I'm trying to remember where I get springs. I think lawnmowers have them. The hardware store. Computers don't have springs. I have to. I might have to look through my my loot pile back at the base and see if there's something that might have spring in it, so I can get my telescope made. Nothing useful there. Don't need ammonia. Oh my god, oh my god, we found rollerblades. Uh, poor fit, but I don't care. <laughs> we got the rollerblades. Oh man. I have to think hard about using the rollerblades. Wool socks are pretty nice. Oh, we might have a... Uh... So this basement is possibly the uh, auto dock basement. Small chance it's an auto dog basement. I might be able to get a spring out of some of this machinery too, so that's great. Pinball machine, I think, has a spring. We'll find out. Don't think the uh, ergometer does, but the pinball machine might give me what I'm looking for. All right, snacks, malted milk balls, and potato chips. Let's go ahead and have both of those. I don't care if I'm full. I'm a gourmand. Look at that. We got lemonade too. Ooh, that's going to give me more calories as well. Alright, we'll just take that. So, mm, the answer is no. Uh, 
No, no auto dock basement. It would be right here. There'd be a secret door right there to an auto dock. Unfortunately not. All right, let's go see if we can get our spring. No spring! Ah, oh, I was sure this thing had springs. Oh well. Bearings, copper wire will take. Plastic chunks and scrap. That's unfortunate. I was pretty sure that was going to be one of the places I might be able to get one. Uh, we're already over capacity. What am I carrying that took up so much space all of a sudden? Dump those. Uh, I guess the roller blades and the books are taking up a lot of space. Put crank. Put crank, pipe, chunks of steel, and steel chain, so that won't do it. Small wheel. Can't take that apart. Ah, no spring. Uh, I was pretty sure it was going to have one, but nope, no spring in the pinball machine. Next one I see, I'll just smash and check. I get different items out of different uh, objects sometimes. These in particular, you get uh, sheet, more sheet metal than you get uh, pipes and such, or scrap, than when you smash them versus deconstruct them. So uh, You don't get springs out of refrigerators. Nope. All right, we'll just have to keep on the lookout. All right, stamina's good. Let's go ahead and have our lemonade and drop the bottle of that. Already I'm gonna be running out of space. Alright, so this house is done. Hmm, another one of those work in progress houses. Shocker brute to the southwest. So this one's done. Ooh, hey there, Shocker Brute. Hmm, apparently he heard the window break. Let's not break any more windows real quick. <laughs> Russian blue. Raincoat. I'm going to throw the raincoat on, actually. I'm going to need that for certain other things. USB drive sitting in a plant, huh? Hockey mask. This is the fancy house. If you want to remember, it's got a uh, pond out the front right corner. So down this direction, there should be a pond. Just waiting for the shocker brute to come busting through a window and mess me up. Windows broke. Something's in there. Shocker Brute's gonna follow the sound of the stupid shady zombies that are chasing me everywhere. There's the pond. So it was the one I remember. Alright, so this house is gonna be done. So now we need to go out and southeast. Um. Hey there, Shocker Brute. Alright, already been down that way, so we need to go southwest, I mean, not southeast.
Pick the wrong side of the house to check. They're going south. Got a garage. It's going to have my... Ah, oh, it's a survivor house. Dang it. Um, that is not convenient. Alright, can't mess with that. Now we're getting to the point where I've got not clear retreat path. Check the hardware store that never has tools. <laughs> a saw? No, it's, yeah, a saw, a mop, and scissors. Yeah, that's, that's about how useful it usually is when I come here. Yeah, I see you back there. Next thing I was hoping for was a lawnmower. Looks like that's a nope. Climb the fence. Gas station. Please don't blow up a gas tank while I'm standing in the area. That would be rude. Alright, this house is interesting. Looks like a garage, not a house. Oh, it's a duplex, that's why. Interesting. Nothing. Alright, he's falling in directly behind me. Can't see anything that way so out the window we go hey there zombies Check the other side of the duplex wonder if dryers would have a spring let's make some noise Strength six, trying to whack a dryer. Not gonna happen. Not strong enough. Oh, we got it. Nope, no springs. Grab the heating elements. Stop running. Crap, didn't mean to be running. Nothing but scissors again. All right, so this place is done, done. Didn't really do much there. We're gonna try to go southeast if I can get to it. I got I got shadies coming at me from both sides. I think. Yep. Just the one. Um, you broke the window. I came in. All right. Go diagonally across the street. Ooh, hey there, Mr. Zombie. Hmm, don't care about any of this stuff. Nah, right, we're just doing our house to house maneuvers now. Good old basement in the bathroom. I haven't found a special basement yet. Just keep finding these same few generics. Sewer Gator. Hey, Mr. Sewer Gator. I already got that one. I'll just leave the Sewer Gator to himself. Easy cloud. Alright. Oh. This. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not good. Get out of the doorway. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, this is not good. 
If they plug the gap, step side by side, or one step's there, I'm not going to be able to get through there. I got a blighted out here that's going to gas me. I got no way out of this room. So let me take one more step. That's all I want. All right, we're okay now. Whew. <laughs> That one made me a little nervous. All right. <laughs> Back with chat here. You guys been chatting. Yeah, in order to do seats, I have to get a uh, wrench. I can't do seats without the wrench. So that's what's holding me up there. And uh, I haven't come across a lawnmower yet. I might need a wrench for it as well. <laughs> so first we'll find them. Then we'll have to see if we can do anything with them. But until I get a wrench, I can't do seats. Why is the survivor house bad? Because it's got booby traps. It's got shotgun traps right inside the front doors. It's got landmines scattered all over the uh, main living room area. Um, and even if I don't step on a landmine, if a shady zombie follows me in and steps on one, I'll get shredded by the shrapnel that'll ping off all the walls. So that is why. It's very dangerous. Uh, I knew it was a survivor house because the windows were boarded up. All right, let's keep moving. So we're done here. Try to make it to the next house over here before this one gets too crowded. These zombies are making too much damn noise. Ah, feral hunter! Damn it, he's on me. Um, I'm gonna keep going this way. I gotta get into this door. Hopefully, without him stepping in. There we go. All right, that's what I needed. So he actually did five points of damage with one hit. Quarter of my hit points gone. He is dangerous. I gotta make sure I break contact and stay broken contact. Another Taylor's kit. This is like Taylor's kit number 12 or 13 that I found. I don't know why they're so popular, but I can't find any of the basic tools. I'm getting some really weird item gen. The waiting is probably kind of uh, kind of silly when you've got such a low item spawn rate. I got regular antibiotics now. I almost never get infections when I don't start with them as part of a scenario, so I'm not going to bother picking that up, and I don't care about the thread. Uh, I think I will go out this window. So, this is the last. There might be another house here. I didn't get it explored earlier. But I think I'm going to just keep going to the east. We'll try to get these two houses, and then we'll head back home. Assuming I'm still alive. Yep, there is another house. Log wall. That might not be a house. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's a dojo? This is a weird looking dojo. I've never seen a dojo with this design before. Can I get to an office with uh, a book before? Oh, it's almost the one I wanted. <laughs> I want my fitted judo gi. Fitted? No, two poor fitted judo gis. <laughs> Bathroom. Where is the office? Give me a martial art other than Tai Chi. No, just a ladies and men's changing room. That's the combat mat. What the hell? Is this built into a house or something? This is just really weird looking. I have never seen this design before. Hey there, Shady. Boxing Monthly. Well, we didn't get what I wanted. Uh, I think. Yeah. Not useful. Let's 
Got a wood stove. How do you how do you get out of here actually? There's no back wall here. Or there's no door out the back, I mean. Am I gonna have to go all the way back out the front? That would be a bit inconvenient. All I see is log walls. I'm not sure if that's a wall or I just haven't seen that space. That's probably a log wall. There's no way out of here. I'm going to have to go back out the front. That could be problematic. Hopefully whatever was chasing me is all in. I hate having just a single space that I'm able to move out from. That makes me nervous. Well, that was interesting. I'd never seen that dojo style before. Apparently that's the uh, the suburb dojo. Alright, let's get back out this way. Hit the road. Stop running. Crap, didn't mean to be running. That is dangerous. Which kind of vehicle? RV? Mobile meth lab. Pork pie hat in the front. All the drugs sitting here in the back. Adderall. Yay, we got some Adderall. Uh, we'll make a note of the meth lab in case I ever want to come back for the chemistry station. It's not drivable, right? No. No wheels. Alright, so we're south of the dojo. What is this property here, if anything? Nothing, just a field. Little Mr. Zombie. Mortuary. We're going to have a fully functional hearse out front? Nope, it's damaged. It's not perfect condition, but it might drive. Let's go check the hearse out. How you looking, hearse? Uh, security system's live. It's got some gas and battery. No, nope. won't be driving that anywhere. We'll head out the other side. Not liking that either. Hey, Shocker Zombie, why are you beelining it down the road? I don't like not understanding behavior. What is going on there? It's not coming right at me. There's a house right there I was going to head towards. I'm guessing something down there made noise and drew him from quite a ways away. I like the crowd over there. Maybe I won't go over there. Where I was originally heading. Hmm. Let's give him a bit of a wide berth. Work our way north of him, see if I can get into this house over here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, stuff chasing me. Again. Loaded and a vacuum sealer. Um, hmm. At 18 out of 22, vacuum sealer would be about the last thing I could grab if I was going to do it. Sure. As long as I can get out of here before I get poisoned. Alright. Out the back window, probably. Well, I think I heard something out there. Yeah, still a better plan. Um, back patio. Ah, stop running. Being chased. Horseradish. Other stairs. Another 
wreck basement. Several zombies, nothing interesting. Yeast Scott's Book of Cookery. Too heavy? Just barely enough. Alright, so we're bingo on available space unless I toss stuff out. Cooking oil. Screwdriver again. Now I'm going to just see screwdriver after screwdriver. <laughs> Every tool I come across is going to be the screwdriver now. Just to spite me. Uh, I don't have any other gallon jugs to swap it out with. I'd like the cooking oil, but I think I'm going to pass it up. All right, somebody's chasing me. Well, we're about full. That's the last of the area that uh, I think I can do. I'm a little nervous about just going straight north because there might be a minefield because I haven't out of this area out yet. 